Here's another exclusive clip from Wrestling Reality with Justin Labar, brought to you by Gladiators of the Cage. Drop to your knees and thank Joe Boo or Joe Pesci. That, those are the two people I pray to, Joe Boo and Joe Pesci. Thank you and, for answering my prayers. Luke Harper is back home. Harper, back with Bray Wyatt. June 28th, I wrote about this uh, on my trip column. I said, stop wasting Luke Harper. Eric Rowan's injured. You know, Harper and Rowan, this is the tag team. That could have gone some distance, but Rowan's injured. Harper's the standout talent anyways. Uh, you know, he's not a young man. He's in his mid-30s, so let's utilize him while you have him. Uh, great decision to put him back with Bray Wyatt. Because Bray Wyatt, quite honestly, on his on his solo tour here has been head-scratching. Maybe not his fault. Maybe the people behind the curtain's fault. But nonetheless, still head-scratching. So thank Joe Boo and Joe Pesci. Luke Harper is back with Bray Wyatt. I'm very excited to see that pairing in SummerSlam in Brooklyn. Yes, I will be doing a pre-party in Brooklyn on SummerSlam Sunday. We started making some headway with that uh, yesterday and getting some details closed up on that. Uh, so more details to come in the future. Boy, it's like Juice. Juice, remember Anchorman. It, it, it is like gang warfare with these divas. The divas are evolution. It's like when uh, all the news teams gather for, for a giant battle and they're killing each other and they're throwing tridents and everything. I love it. This is exciting stuff. And I love, I love, I mean, we all know I love the Bella Twins, but I love how much heel heat the Bella Twins get with the internet crowd. I'm watching the inter- I'm watching Twitter last night as as their girls are on commentary, the Bellas are on commentary, and just people just it's they they get the John Cena treatment, which is great. I, the people, oh, the only reason you're there is because you're dating John Cena, or, or you're married to Daniel Bryan, or or because you're twins, or because of E Network and this and that. Have you ever stopped to think that? And I'm talking to you people who are bashing them, that you, the longer you keep complaining about them, the more they are going to be prominently featured as the cornerstone heel against your beloved Charlottes and Pages and Becky Lynch's. I, I love this. I love it. I think it's good stuff. Uh, speaking of John Cena, real quick, off off uh, topic maybe, you see a train wreck over the weekend? I have not. Everybody is I, – I, I'm excited because I've heard like 20 people see saw it, and 20 for 20, everybody says it's phenomenal. I saw it yesterday. Ah. Uh. John Cena is probably yeah. the most underrated of the, of the whole movie. Greatest stuff. I look like Mark Wahlberg. Eight Mark Wahlberg, right? That's the, one of the movie lines. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. Of, I mean, oh, there's other stuff. Yeah. That, that's, that's, I know the bedrooms. I, yeah. I saw. I first saw a train wreck a trailer months ago, like before yeah. anybody really was aware of that what this was going to be. And I saw like it was like an extent, like a four minute trailer, and I saw a bit of the Cena in bed thing. Oh, it's and I was hilarious. Just, yeah. Oh, uh, speaking of train wreck, um, on CSRWrestling.com, one of our bloggers, Blake Mitchmore, wrote a uh, blog today. Check it out. I'm sure you have a comment one way or the other talking about the champ might be gone. And uh, he looks at the – maybe not completely gone, but he looks at maybe Cena reducing his schedule in WWE in the future. So check that out, CSRWrestling.com. Yeah, so I'm all for the gang warfare at the Divas. Good stuff for me. I'm entertained. Uh, how about the Rusev character? This is getting interesting to me. I mean, you know, he's finally healthy again. He's got boots on, as we figured. It, soon we're going to be doing Lana versus Lana. It is SummerSlam time, so I suppose we're paying homage to the Undertaker. Undertaker versus Undertaker. Let's get uh, let, let, let's get the, let's get Leslie Nielsen back to uh, to, to to detect. It's paying. It's paying. Ho- I look at this. I look at Lana versus Lana. We'll be paying homage to the Undertaker. Similar, similar to you know all these shark attacks, which I think is all just one big marketing ploy to pay homage and promote Sharknado three coming out on Wednesday of this week. I think it's all. I think it's all a big. I think the Sharknado three movie studios. I think they're sending these shark attacks out. That uh, they're doing something and to incite this shark riot. It's all a ploy to make you watch Sharknado three, which will be the trending social media event of Wednesday night. So uh, there you go. Hashtag that. By the way, uh, with Lana versus Lana, uh, you know, you know, obviously, you know, I'm I'm all for the real Lana. I'm still waiting. I, Summer Rae. I'm just. I watch her, and maybe, maybe, maybe this is just my. Maybe this is my personal trolling. I just watch Summer Rae. I just. I, I mean, I have a headache when I'm done because I'm slapping my forehead so many times. I just just watching little things and just. She's trying. I guess I, I, she's trying, but I just. I'm still questioning. Can she point to Bulgaria on the map? I. One fan pointed out on Twitter. She probably thinks. Bulgaria is a, an eating disorder, but but nonetheless, I think trying to, her finding that on a map could be an entire WWE Network show. I think you could kill a lot of time with that, but that's just that's just me. 